Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play EU4 is Great Britain. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So, we can afford that. I want to invade Norway. The problem right now is that, I mean, the Commonwealth actually wouldn't join. That actually makes a big difference here. You, I'm assuming you wouldn't want to join because of the mass amount of debt you're in. Portugal, East Frisia, Cologne, Pomerania, like all these people don't matter so much. So I think we're just going to invade them. Taking, what is this province? You are here. Declare the war. We're technically outnumbered. But I really don't think it matters. Can I control these troops? Great power actions. I don't want to influence you. I want to... If I can... Supportive. I want to be aggressive. Place governor, press sailors. I think you're kind of fine. How are you actually feeling in terms of... Uh, you have no desire to be independent at all. Okay, fantastic. And you guys are actually going straight to um, Nova Scotia, which is where I wanted you to be in the first place. So that's nice. So we're at war with a handful of people, most of whom don't matter at all. Um... Like, we have these guys here. They're not protecting trade. We need them to do. So we've taken at least a war goal already. Um, how many boats do they have in comparison? 58. I mean, the numbers are actually a little bit closer than I would like in terms of uh, ship count. And you're repairing right now. Are the cogs? Who are these cogs? You know, oh, I think we're stealing ships from the AI that we're killing. Um, yeah, no, 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 no. We do, we do not want... I mean, we'll, we'll keep them for now. If I can capture their ships, that's okay for us. Yeah, see, so we're capturing ships at each one of these battles. We'll worry about that after. 311 points for 100 of each power? Oh, absolutely. That's not even a, qu that's not even a question. That's just good for us. Um, global trade power plus 20%. Yes, also seems really good. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. We've also unlocked a bunch of new policies. So we're going to go for global expansion. We're also going to get... Uh, we'll, we'll go for leader fighter, even though I really don't think it matters too much. The Northern Rebellion. One stability and a bunch of rebe uh, rebels rise up. Missionary strength. Or release Norfolk? It's all happening in our actual territory that I worry about a little bit more. Um, we'll gain stability. You know what? We're going to have a massive revolt in the north, but I still think that's okay. I don't see any enemy ships around us right now. Okay, we've got a 30 stack. Uh, apparently, we just don't have any generals. Uh, so we'll hire one here. We have, we have a lot of military power. But we wouldn't be able to actually upgrade anything even if we wanted to. Uh, a 443 Admiral becomes available for, for uh, duty. Seems pretty good. Your 5% discipline. Skill 2. What do we have right now? We have a morale of armies. Yeah, we'll, we'll put you in there. Still very expensive, but that's okay. Yeah, with only two stack, we can actually transfer them with a massive army as well. But a 30 stack should be able to kill all these guys. Essentially no problem. 25 admin points, that's kind of okay. Yeah, whatever. We're dealing with enough uh, problems on our plate right now. How are you guys doing this south? We're actually going to get you guys to kind of come up towards the north. We've got one stack down there. But, I mean, you can't siege down anything with the one stack. I mean, you can siege down these other areas, but you wouldn't be able to actually hold it for too long. 
Yeah, so you guys come down here. As long as these guys have all their armies and fleets just in, like, really small groups. It works out well for us. How are you guys doing over here, by the way? You're getting blockaded, but you do have a five stack, which is useful. Don't want you to cross a river. And that should be all the rebels dealt with. Another six stack dead. We do a ten stack down towards the south. We have to the 23, which we're going to put another leader on. Three, I mean, you're pretty good. Here comes our massive death stack coming here to kill the Portuguese. And how high are we above our maintenance now? We're 10 ships over. I think that's still kind of okay. Not you, though. We want the death fleet. We are going to be losing some money for a little bit. Especially since we are actually over capacity. I don't want to get rid of any of you guys, though. Kind of want you where you are. Um... I mean, Palm Randy, you're having some rebel problems. Do you want to be out of the war? Apparently not. Apparently you really like being in the war for uh, no good reason. Yeah, after this we go to Norway. Or we go to um, Greenland, I should say. you border anybody? Not really as far as I can tell. Okay, colony self-sustaining. Is there anywhere else you want to colonize? Yeah, let's start colonizing down here just for the hell of it. Why not? I mean, a Portuguese will probably actually take that territory, but... Eh. It's okay. Okay, so let's occupy all these territories back. I mean, even, even being over 10 over the force limit, we're actually still doing okay. I'm sure our trade, yeah, 56% without our massive fleet there, but still pretty good. Where do we have rebel problems? Gascon, which is you, I think? Yeah. Really is not a problem at all. You guys going to stay there for now. Canada should be good to go soon. Want base tax? Losing a hundred admin points is quite a lot. We don't want to. We don't want to do that. We want to save up so we can at least uh, get towards admin tech fourteen, so we get another idea group. It would be really nice for us to have. Fifteen government reform pro. You're really good. Tax modifier, you're plus three as well. Yeah, plus three for half price. You might actually just pay for yourself. A lot of admin points coming in, which is just a lovely, lovely sight. What military attack are you guys on? You're on uh, 12, we're on 13. Morale and tactics are just better than Norway, so we should win that. Yeah, there we go. Pretty handily. We're gonna create new units. All of these transports really don't need to be here anymore. Delete them. The rest of you at this point really can just go back to protecting trade in the English Channel. Because the naval side of things are now completely in our favor. The AI sent uh, really bad maneuvers. France also is taking a massive, massive beating. Castile is getting, I would say, maybe a little bit too powerful. And none of you guys want to leave the war quite yet. Even as you're being like completely occupied like this by uh, Protestant zealots, you don't want to leave the war. To me, that's the surprising part. Like, I'd be there. I'd just get the hell out of there. Because, I mean, like, if I couldn't get... Gascon Separatist. 
Yeah, we can just start going over there. And I'll occupy it all of you. Are you transports? I mean, you kind of are. But 17%. How much would it cost for me to annex all the stuff I actually want? Because these are the provinces that I actually care about. 47. Really no aggressive expansion penalties. 47. I'm actually really surprised that it's that expensive. You need a general. Put in the 333. 25 corruption. Yeah, that, that's fine. 25 corruption really doesn't make any difference to us, I think. We have a six stack here of Galera troops. Would be nice to kill them. Unfortunately, Norway did land troops here. We do have an idea. We do have an ability. First rate discipline we don't care about. Um, I mean, war score costs for... Yeah, I guess, I guess you are technically a different religion. We'll go with that. Now you are slightly cheaper, I think. We gain a claim on Quercy. I don't even know what the hell Quercy is. Apparently we have a claim on it now. Again, you guys go back and protect the trade in the English Channel. I mean, yeah, Norway is doing some stuff up here which we're not fans of. And now the colony's been self-sustaining. Um, National Rest Minus 2. Nah, give me the money. I don't care about Castile at all. I will take the military power, though, of course. Uh, we'll go... Ah, uh, uh, you've actually sent more units over. Um, can I afford to build more units? No, we're already at our limit. Marine infantry? Okay, I, I don't know what a marine infantry is, but sure. Send you guys up north. We should, I think, be able to hold this. Go back up to Orkney. Like a 16 stack definitely is overkill. Like we don't need this many men actually up here. We have an extra colonist as well. I guess we'll just colonize more of uh, Nova Scotia. And you are not quite Canada yet. Once this is done, you will be though. Okay, some more truce has expired. We're not going to call it Newfoundland. We're just going to call it uh, Canada. I mean, yeah, you're not going to even try to attack into us. The transports probably cannot win that fight. Okay, we don't. We don't want to. We don't want to do something dumb. And we're almost capped out on you. How's printing pressing doing, by the way? It still hasn't shown up anywhere. Military no, no points this high. You're close. Next month, we can probably get that done. So I don't want to be spending too much military power on this. Um, Military. Is there anything we can do in here? We could re-roll some infantry. Strength in government. But that doesn't help us out really at all right now either. How about to become a kingdom? We want to become an empire at some point. And now that you're back here, we can go take this province. 
Like, Norway, you are facing horrible defeats right now. If I were you, I would just give up. You actually did land troops up in Norway, though. Well, that's... Or Iceland, I guess I should say. Which is very annoying for you to do. And hopefully all you guys can start building up your own units sooner rather than later. Yeah, unsurprisingly. I mean, next day, not enough men actually even siege down that province, which is hilarious. Um... Who's the Holland's expired? Come back up here. We are at our cap. We need to spend these military points on something. What a war exhaustion. Yeah, I mean you're actually you're diplo points. Good to know for the future. Um You're not, you need at least ten provinces to give us a merchant. What can I spend our points on? I mean, we can force, um, you to rise up. Or I guess harsh treatment them? But they're not strong enough for that. So what, do, what am I going to spend these points on? Because it's got to be on something. Because you need, like, an extra 100. How many points we get? We get 10? Like, it'd be ready in May. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a year of wasted points. Um, What about you? You know what? Raise war taxes. It costs us two. It doesn't spend the points, but it means that we're going to gain them a little bit slower. We could just start rerolling generals, but even, like, I don't even think that's worth it, honestly. Because we already have pretty good generals right now. Scorch Earth. Cost 5. We can start burning stuff. But like legitimately, I just don't even know what to spend these points on. We'll kill you. I mean, might as well, you know, let's, like, roll at least two. I know we have too many leaders now. You're not very good. Dismiss you. There we go. We've, we've at least saved some points, though. What do, you, what do you do for us? Army drill gain? You're going to cost a little bit more money, but that's okay. We have enough money that we can afford that, no problem. And, of course, our fleet here, we want you going back to protect the trade English Channel. We cannot uh, lose some money. We're now also a conqueror. I mean, that seems pretty good. You are sending troops down here. Okay. That's my own fault. But that's okay. Then units down to France. Okay, how much do we, we need? Um... For all this, we still need 35. You're nowhere close to actually even accepting it yet. Underpopulation, I'll take it. If we could get one of you out of the war, though, you, you don't want to be here anymore. And you won't take anything, so you know what, just get out of the war. Anybody else? Portugal's at medium. They wouldn't sue for peace quite yet, but I think they are going to get there. Yeah, we prefer to the province to uh, Protestant. We can get military at uh, Amentech 14. What are you guys doing? 85% chance. Can I actually spend any points here? No, I don't want to lose admin points. So the answer is, like, not really. Make some territory. Yeah, we don't make any of those areas in the States that are basically just complete garbage. At some point, though, gain 40 military power? I can't afford... F I mean, it it's just going to go to waste. 
I mean, I'll take it. I guess we can actually we can save up more points now. Military tech. Uh, I mean, fourteen. It's staring us right in the face. He still won't say yes. How much is this fort costing? It's probably like five percent. Six point two. By network? No, definitely just gained the prestige. We've almost, once again, we've almost capped you out. We also have two colonists that aren't doing anything. Um, I send you to Cuba. Seems like a good place for you to be. After that, of course, we'll send you back to, um, just call it, colonize Texas. Why not? Texas is fun. 49. You don't want to engage us quite yet. Staple rack minus one. Does not matter, even in the, even slightly. Um, well, we're going to be losing some points, and I apologize, but we're going to get our way up to uh, military attack 14. I know this is not the, the best way to do it. There we go. We spent all our points. Don't upgrade the units quite yet. That's not worthwhile. Portugal. You're close to wanting to being out of the war. I bet you if I went to blockade Lisbon, they would want out. Can't get anything out of them, probably. But even just Portugal not being in the war anymore... ...should make our chances easier here. Still, you still wouldn't say yes. 13 stack against you. I mean, it is in the mountains. We're on tech 14, and I'm assuming you're, you're probably on, like, tech... You're tech 13. Okay. Yes, more support for printing press. Definitely just what I want. Send you guys up towards the north. We want you guys to go back home. So we can actually upgrade our units now. Is it you? Yes. Let's upgrade uh, you guys. Excellent. Now we don't want the war taxes anymore because we do want to save up military points. We're at 32. You would start to say yes to this now. If I was also like just uh, theoretically if you were just a Transfer trade power. Steer trading towards me. It's a negative 170. I mean, this is basically all that I wanted. It's just complete control over the North Atlantic. And again, there's nothing, there's nothing else I really want from you. You know, take 50 bucks. We only have 20,000 men. I mean, 20,000 men is way more than would make any actual sense. Okay, fantastic. So apparently we, we fulfilled the mission. The North Sea Islands. We also need to colonize uh, Greenland. Yeah, but we can get that done. Don't worry about that. Um, just one more province. Uh, we'll take the colonist off of you. Send you to Greenland. We are going to spend a lot of points. Actually, it probably not going to be that many points. Because these provinces are essentially garbage. Oh yeah, you weren't actually a finished colony yet. So you're actually going to cost us a ton. But I'm actually still kind of okay with it. There we go. We'll go for Diplotech 14. We're, we're so far ahead on tech. It's it's beautiful. But for right now, I think it's going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks very much for watching. My name is If you've enjoyed, my thumbs up. Not to wait to call you some down. Want to see more, subscribe. And goodbye.